Hey guys, we're gonna learn about Ash. Let's start. Uh, pretending I'm leashing this red. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go to the lane. So when you're going to the bottom lane after you leash, there's always a situation these three minions, milli minions, goes low HP like this. You need to prepare last shot with the W. It goes penetrate. I will explain about that. But anyway, and then another thing, if you wanna push this wave, W, like this angle. You can guarantee four shots, right? Four minions. But if you don't, let's see the next wave coming. And if you don't use W like that, the melee minions will block your W anger. Like this, you're gonna hit 4. But if you're sh trying to shoot, you'll be blocked. So this is one, one tip for your W. And then, uh, the W penetrate thing is, if that thing, uh, enemy, or champion, or creep, or anything, just anything you can hit, if that's a low enough damage, low enough HP, it goes penetrate. So what do you mean penetrate? It goes further. Right now, it will be blocked by these minions. But, do you see this melee minion? It is low HP, right? So if I shoot this angle, guarantee this dummy will get W. Think like that. It's very important, you can abuse this in your lane phase. Low enough HP, if you this, uh, if you watch this minion, and then enemy Caitlyn or any any enemy champion is behind of that, trying to W poke behind the minion, but you can just execute that minion with your W, right? So that means you can go penetrate that W to the enemy, so you can poke them. How to use Q? First, you need to make a habit checking this around. The box will be around here. If you auto, Q stack. 1, 2, 2 stack. 3 stack. 4 stack, you can use it. So, you need to watch your screen, but also watching this Q stack. In that case, auto. 1, 2, 3, 4 Q. Did you see that? You can actually cancel your auto. 1, 2, 3, 4 Q. It's, it's a little bit different auto attack speed, right? Again, 1, 2, 3, 4 Q. Oh, I failed it. So like that, you need to be ready to press the Q button at the same time, the fourth shot. 3, 4 Q. And then, the other thing is, let's say this is a C, uh, CS. I'm gonna last hit. Just assume. This is last hit. And then I last hit it, but this Caitlyn is hitting you. So for example, let's say this is Caitlyn. And I want to take this CS. Let's say I wanna, I'm gonna take this one, but Caitlyn is hitting me. Did you see that? What did I do? It's kind of weird, right? One, two, three. I want to take this CS, but Caitlyn is trying to hit you. In that case, auto Q. You take the CS with your auto. But if you have a four stack after your that auto, you you need to press the Q button to the enemy because you can auto cancel. When you use a hog shot, please think your uh, pathing, a uh, hook shot path. Is it, it is coming from your body and end up where you click it. So please do not click like here. Do you see that? Do not click just shortly. You could just this edge and this edge just until end the part. Okay, so in that case, not only watching this part, but you also dead far. Accidental maybe thumbnail recorded and you found it or jungle it recorded you found it At the same same time same thing top side Do not stop at croc like this. 
laser use at your end of the croc but going to the lane also. You found it. And the croc. But you found it. Ending the minimap and you found uh, you had the extra vision. It's important. Okay, tips for your ultimate. Uh, basic thing is start one second uh, the CC duration. St stun is a one second from the one second to the 3.5 second. Depends on your arrow travel distance, like distance traveled. So if it's a melee range, it's only one second. Auto range around one second. But if your W maximum range, W R longer than one second so basically my first tip for your r is trying to double slow and press the r button it's easier to hit right and then the other thing is let's say there are 2v2 fighting and then you want to do help you want to help your teammates in that case uh, trying to calculate what it look like what it means uh, are they gonna lose or are they gonna win if our team will win it then do not try to like hit these two people. Just to save it and try to rotation. Why? Because if your teammate win eventually, that means they're gonna run away. This pathing or this pathing. So in that case, if they're running away this path, just start this anger. It's easier to hit. If this pathing, then it's easier to hit. Just to hit this anger, right? And then. Oh no, they're not gonna win. Ah, oh, that means you trying to shoot, trying to shoot them. Uh, your team gonna lose it, then trying to hit it. It's unfortunate. Yeah, just to trying to hit. But I'm just saying, uh, if you can think the future, future, uh, predict the future, trying to use with the zoned angle. That's more likely easier to hit. It's way easier to hit if that's a zoned angle. That's it. Ash is a basic lane phase and how to punishment against uh, Casey Morgana as uh, Ash Karama. So first of all, I failed using W. I wanted to hit those uh, three, uh, four creeps actually, one melee, uh, three range creeps, right? But it's unlucky. It didn't go off. It didn't go. And now I don't have W. Karma Mantra queued. And then we saw Morgana W, right? This is important information. Morgana used the W, and then what I did here, I got my CS, so I go forward. Look at my mouse cursor, movement, going to the left, forward. We're hitting the Caitlyn. Back off once, and now I use my theory, my knowledge. Ash W can be blocked only if that minion doesn't die. Ash, Ash, Ash W will go penetrate these minions. Correct? Correct. Why? Minion will die. That's why. W, approach velocity, slowed, follow him. Auto, 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 get the heal. Easy clap. Keep pushing over and over and over, but this lane, uh, we don't have to push right away. Just wait a little bit and go forward position. Go forward position, why? Why you should do that? Because Morgana doesn't have Q. So W poke, back off once, get my CS. And now, we will learn about how to use W. Oh, I used the here. So you need to think, uh, kinda... A mirroring, mirroring your Graves position, Graves speed, but also enemy speed. In this case, Graves started the top. On in enemy case, enemy started. Uh, they didn't lynch, but uh, we are assumed they started bot. And then Graves did a three camp here almost. And now your jungler is pinging. Question mark? Question mark. What it means? He wanted a hook shot me. He wanted me to hook shot there for watching those vision. So I watched it. Oh, okay. I used E, the end of the map. All right. 
Hopefully it's showing soon. Da 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 da. -da. Uh oh, we found it. That's it. That's how to use the E. And then in this case, did you see the late? Did you see the CS setup and my position? I'm gonna take this one CS. Watch it. And I go forward. In that case, Caitlyn did get W damage to auto damage. Your lane fades. After that lane phase, level 2 and hook shot finding from the blue. Now, uh, we saw Kindred at the top side in Tribush on the minimap, right? And he didn't show. Like, he didn't show at all. If we go back, just calculate the time. He showed 3 minutes 55 seconds. I guess I'm singing in this clip. Didn't show yet. Didn't show yet. I wanna push this wave because I wanna push this wave and then I wanna poke under the turret with my W. Did you see that? This is important. Another one. W did it. But I want to take this CS. I want to take this CS. But Caitlyn is watching you. I talked about this auto Q. I have a four stack. I have a four stack. So what it means? I'm gonna do taking CS. My cursor Q. Wow. We did it. And now, do not forget about jungler. Huh? He didn't show for like 30 seconds. Ah. What it means, he could pet the bot. Look at this Graves. Graves is actually thinking and telling the information. He might be there, he might be there, he might be there. Question mark, question mark, question mark. So, I will just shoot my hook shot soon enough. Right there, E. Uh huh. So what does that mean? Did you see that? You need to remember. Checking here. Checking here. He didn't show. So what is the last option? Last option is croc. So in that case, he is either croc or croc push or tribush coming. Now we saw kindred. Time we are doing 2v2 skirmish. Morgana here, Kindred is here, level 5. The, uh, check, Morgana used the Q here, he missed it. And now, auto Q. Important. Feel the rhythm, auto cancel, maximum damage. damage. I think I did kinda late. Auto Q. It's kinda late, to be honest. But it's important. And why would I use R? That's a huge mistake from me. I wanted look um, good. You know, it's kind of uh, trying to be looking good. We have a bad example using Q and good example using Q. First thing is bad. So I have this four stack right now, right? Let's go. Abuse the flip work. Hmm. It was wrong. What was wrong? The wrong part is. I didn't do auto Q cancer here. Why am I running away? Do you see my posture? I'm running away. Why? You're gonna win the trade no matter what here. Why? How? Because you have a full stack and then auto Q cancel. Potentially you have a W. Potentially maybe W if this Caitlyn is bad. And then for Caitlyn's side, she has auto plus. Well, maybe she has a potential 
EQ angle? Maybe? But let's say she's trying to E this angle. E here? E? Then if I move here, if I move upside, then I can dodge Caitlyn E damage, right? I'm not gonna hit by Caitlyn E. So guarantee this is the biggest part, easiest to, uh, uh, biggest moment. I can just auto plus Q trade easily, and I'm gonna win the trade so hard. But what I'm doing here? Uh oh, you okay, backed off. Big mistake. Move on. So I would just Go next that. moment I is here. And I have a double ability. One. Two. Ah, two. Three. A little bit of fail. Aha. Uh -huh. That was a good one. You can easily notice. A little bit of fail. This Caitlyn is coming forward to you. Hold on. I because you're gonna hit us, yes, right? But at the same time, you're yes, but also Q trade, trade. So simply, you want or a Q. That's it. So this is how you actually uh, calculate about zoning how to use R. Right now, what is the situation? Irelia following, trying to chase, trying to chase Lilia, right? So with this pathing, where she would go? Most likely, uh, she would go here or she would go this angle. So I was keep watching it and wait for that angle. Where are you going, Lilia? Oh, he went to right side. And now, oh, we got the flash. So think about enemies pathing, joining angle. You need to watch this if you want to be good at R because it has lots of things. Think about joining angle and also thinking about Thrash Lantern. So why didn't you use right now? Because it's kind of hard to hit this angle to the Thresh, to the Caitlyn. But you need to watch what am I going to say? My say? I'm saying... Hold your R eventually, did the angle with the Thresh. Because uh. that's the only way you can give the Lantern. Aha! Did you hear that? Hold your R eventually. Hold your R eventually. This angle. Wait, the thrash. Thrash will, like, that angle, thrash will be there because that's the only way thrash will lantern angle. Because that's the only way you can give the lantern. Aha. Five ahead. Think like that. You can win easily. Okay. These are the list we learned today about Ash, right? But I'm gonna say these two things are easy. It's easy to understand and easy to learn, but these two things, use E, uh, predict the jungle pathing, use R, joining R, thinking about enemy skills, it's not that easy. So that's why I was trying to explain hard with my thought process, sharing, sharing my thought process, uh, so hopefully it was useful for you guys and yeah, I really hope you can understand my explanation because it's very useful I would say yeah and then thanks for watching again yeah thank you for watching everyone and hopefully good luck in your rank again take your win just play five ahead be smart and then get easy win easy clap bye bye